Hello, my name is Dr. William Veter, and I will be your instructor for this class. I'd like to uh, welcome you to class. And uh, right now, I'm just going to do a quick uh, little video. And I'm going to go through the syllabus a little bit and try to guide you in terms of uh, what is on our CNM Learn page and how you can utilize that information uh, to do very well in this class. All right. So welcome. Thank you for taking my class. Uh, even during these really strange COVID times, uh, I think this class will be a very enjoyable distraction uh, from our modern world. All right. So here we go. Bear with me for one second. And uh, we're gonna start on uh, our page, okay? So this is your basic welcome page. When you pull it up, all right? Uh, the first thing you should do is to go to the Start Here tab, all right, and the Start Here module. This will give you a lot of good general information about CNM Learn, about some of the resources that are available to you, about how a lot of things at CNM work. It's a very general tab but it's worth starting there. The next place that I would definitely have you go, all right, is our syllabus tab. Now, on the syllabus tab, you will find not over the, only the syllabus, which we'll be going over in a minute, but also uh, what you're gonna be doing for your first paper, all right? It's not for a while, don't worry about it. Now, for your final paper, you're going to be using a program called Adobe Spark, and a colleague of mine and an excellent historian in his own right uh, has done a little tutorial about how to use Adobe Spark. So you won't need that yet, but just keep it in your back pocket and I'll remind you about it later. And all the information here, okay, is about uh, your final project, which we'll talk a lot more about as we move on. Uh, but this is all of the things that are available for you under the syllabus tab. Now most of your class is going to revolve around this learning modules tab. If you hit that guy, boom. All right, these are your week by week assignments uh, contained in here along with the syllabus, okay, is all the information that you will need. Now when you see a chapter over to the right, okay, that is a chapter uh, in your book. All right, this book right here. Uh, the full citation for the book is of course listed in the syllabus. You can get the textbook wherever you want to as long as you use that specific edition and most importantly, the first volume because otherwise it really just won't make any sense. So this is where you're going to go each week uh, to start everything for this class. And if we open up uh, our first module on Mesopotamia here, each week you're gonna have a few different things to do. So you will have some reading in your textbook. You will have some PowerPoint presentations to look over here. Uh, most often you will have some videos to watch. I really believe in trying to give you information that you can process on multiple different levels. You will also usually have uh, a short writing assignment, okay, which here is called How to Live Forever, and you will have discussions. Now, the discussions are very important, and what you're going to do in the discussions is you're going to get on there, and usually the discussion, I will start them by asking you a question. Now, your responsibility in this case is to answer the question with one thread of your own, and then respond to two threads that have been put forward by other students. Discussion is a way in which you can interact uh, with your fellow students, even as we cannot physically interact with each other. And they are a part of your grade and they are an excellent way for you to get to know each other. I will jump in here and there. Um, when you respond to someone else, right, don't just agree with them. Try to push the conversation forward, okay? Maybe add in some other factoids. But you'll have discussions every week and the earlier in the week you get in on those discussions, the better. Now, the work for each week, okay, I do not have selectively released, which means that the only two real deadlines in this class for the individual work week are going to be the midterm and the final. 
all of the discussion sections and all of the short answer questions are due by the midterm and then the ones after that are due by the final. The way this class works, there's a lot more work before the midterm than after. By the time we get to the midterm, it's almost Thanksgiving and it's going to go very, very fast. Fall semester seems like it's endless really until you get uh, to Thanksgiving and then you know, you're pretty much done. Okay, so again, this is uh, a good place to know. When you have large assignments, like your first essay and your midterm, they will be listed under this My Grades section. So you can check uh, on them there. Now, very quickly, I would just like to go through uh, sections of the syllabus here, okay? So again, these learning outcomes in humanities, what we're trying to get you to do is to look at primary documents and to read critically, all right? To read into and about these pieces of art and through your critical reading of these various kinds of artworks, architecture, uh, gain some understanding again about these societies because these societies really form the basis for our current society today. Now, uh, you can look at uh, all this. Obviously, the attendance policy on here um, is really more for in-person classes, okay? So what I'm asking you to do is to get on each week and to complete the work uh, for that week. The weeks go, the modules go in order. I've given you the flexibility of not having them go away at the end of the week. So if you get behind don't worry about it too much. I will tell you that history work and history reading is really hard to cram all in at the last minute. And you will enjoy this class much more. The class will make much more sense, all right, if you do the work each week. Okay, some more stuff for you guys to read. Now remember, CNM does not have pluses and minuses. Okay, you should know this system here. And um, I do within my class, but uh, when you're trying to uh, tally up um, your um, scores for this class, um, you know, you should think about it. So what do you have to do? Okay, your final and your midterm are a large part of your grade, and I'll talk a lot about those as they come up. You're gonna be writing two essays for me, one small and one large, you can see that's also a big part of your grade. Now your attendance grade here basically is going to be um, your participation in discussions, all right? And you can see that's 15% of your grade. And the in-class work is going to be the short writing assignments that you do each week, all right? So when you add those two up, that's 30% of your grade, really for showing up, participating in the discussions, and doing the small amount of work that I give you each week. And again, I give you that work so that we can all stay grounded and we can stay focused. If you have not turned in a large majority of the work by the midterm, you will be in danger of being dropped from the class, okay? So please, if you're having trouble, uh, my email is up at the top of the syllabus and please just stay in touch, okay? It's always better to be in touch with me more uh, than less. Now, again, this is very similar to uh, what is on the syllabus page, okay? These are suggested uh, dates, all right? They go week by week. Some weeks you'll have a little more work than others. You'll have different kinds of work. I try to mix it up, okay? Uh, there's a lot of fascinating stuff in here, but I know sometimes history can be boring and I do not want to bore you even though you're trapped at home in a pandemic. How sad, okay. Now, a few things to think about here. Your midterm, all right? Your midterm will be due by the end of the week, okay, that begins 1026. The midterm does have a hard date, all right? It will open Monday, and it will be due by 1159 the following Sunday. I will give you a review sheet. Now, I do not give multiple choice tests. So your midterm will be uh, identifications, small essays. One of the reasons that I give you the small essay questions each week is because those are going to prepare you really well for doing well on the midterm. Now, 
Um, the week of Thanksgiving, all right, I have given you totally off in order to catch up on any work that you need. All right, and everything, including your final project and your uh, final exam is due to me um, by the 9th of December. Now the class officially ends on the 11th, but I need a little time to grade, okay? So those are big dates uh, to put in your mind. Uh, you will also have uh, a paper that's on the other syllabus term that'll be, uh, I believe, mid-October, but we'll check on that in a minute, okay? So again, I'm giving you a lot of flexibility here, but that doesn't mean there isn't work to be done each week. I would strongly recommend that you do the readings, you watch the videos. Each week kind of builds on itself, and I think the class is much more enjoyable that way. All right, I've tried to not weigh you down uh, with too many books, but uh, again, you will need the arts and culture book. Okay? All right, so please uh, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and be in touch if you have other questions.